Hey y'all, welcome to my channel Nisi's Pieces. I am Nisi and I have the beautiful, beautiful T, aka Carson <laughs> Foodie, aka my stepmom here with me today. Um, what are we eating tea? So I'm like, what are we eating? <laughs> we are eating a I call it a Cajun style fettuccine alfredo. So it has smoked sausage in here, um, steamed broccoli, as well as topped with Parmesan. So we're trying to keep it a little bit light, but a little bit not. And we also have the garlic bread. Of course, you have to have that with any type of pasta. So I'm ready to dig in. It looks great. <laughs> I'm ready to dig in too. We also have Stella Rosa non-alcoholic because my girl T does not <laughs> <laughs> does not do the alcoholic beverages. Right. But it is a rosé and it, it looks and smells very appealing. So I'm very excited to taste that. Yes. And you still want to be a part of the party. And right. Party. Okay. You so can still party and keep it cute with your Stella Ross. I mean, how cute. This is so cute. Right. You, you don't guys. need a designated driver with this, y'all. <laughs> it should say that on there. Like, no right. designated driver right. required. It should say that. Right. Okay, T. So let's get into the vibe of the week. What's your vibe of the week? So, my vibe is Vito. Um, you got it. I really love that song, you guys. Like, I think it's like a women's empowerment anthem. Like, it's all about the appreciation of a woman who's doing her thing. Like, yes. how can we be mad at that? You gotta like, appreciate it. You, you know, you put that it. on, it reminds you, it motivates you to go chase your bag, your mm -hmm. career, whatever it is, your fitness. You know that you trying to take care of it reminds you to go ahead and do it so he telling you you got it so go ahead and oh, handle okay. that it's like giving drink you got it right. got it okay so i think our souls definitely collided when it came to <laughs> our vibe of the week because mine is definitely definitely a old time motivational song i feel like every woman knows Mary J. Blige, my life. Oh, of course. Let me tell you something. Ugh. I came here with a different vibe of the week, okay? <laughs> and then you was playing this song in the back, and I was like, <laughs> No! It's I was like, nerd. that has to be my vibe of the week because I definitely feel like life can be what you make it. Right. And when you're feeling down, show. you should never fake it. Right. Y'all know the lyrics. Anyway, right. <laughs> let's get into this bite, girl. We got these little, you know what I'm saying? So yes. cute. It's so I'm trying cute. Trying to keep it cute for y'all. Y'all, this looks so good, by the way. T, and this is courtesy of Carson Foodie. If she if she hasn't said it already, she put together this lovely meal for us today, and. I don't know if y'all know her. Some of y'all might, but I'm always ready to dive into whatever she cooks. So this is would definitely. You like some oh, thank you. Yes, I would. Would you say this is one of your passions? Like it definitely is something, something you that always want to do. Like to do. I like to create different meals and just feed people have a good time entertain and all of that so yeah it's definitely something y'all i love 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 to I do i wish y'all can zoom in yes. on the gorgeousness that is this food because let me tell you something it is gonna be gone <laughs> in a second okay <laughs> all right so now that we've got our vibes of the week our, we've already set our vibe and that will carry us out through our weekend, right? Right. But let's get into these topics. So, the first topic that we have is how do you know when you call it quits in a relationship? How do you know when enough is enough? What do you think? I mean, everybody has 
their own breaking points because and for some people you know cheating is not a factor I mean I've sat amongst other women mm -hmm. and heard stories of different things like he cheated on me he had a baby on me and we like oh girl that can't be me but then again you know that they were still there so it's really just what are your limits and honestly if you have to keep going to your friends or you know you feel yourself keep complaining about these same things over and over and nothing is changing like you have to know what what means the most to me like what can I ultimately deal with and what can I deal with? So, and you have to put yourself first with that. Make that decision and stand on it. Like, I totally agree. Um, one of the complicated things, because I have been in a situation where I didn't know when to call it quits. And even though you see those red flags that nothing's going to change or, you know, I'm trying and trying and trying with this situation and it's still the same. It's still a situation that I don't see myself in for the next five, ten years and, and longer. You know, I do feel like some people who are beginners at experiencing true heartbreak don't really understand what their limits are. Mm -hmm. you know that's something that especially if it's your first go around you're like I don't know what my limits are I don't know if I should keep moving forward with this or if I should pull myself back you know right I do feel like that's a hard situation to be in one thing that I did learn though in my journey was definitely don't compromise your happiness you know that's that's something that's non-negotiable you can't look at yourself in the mirror as this unhappy woman or man and take things that you know that you don't deserve. I feel like once you find yourself accepting those things about a person that aren't going to change and you find yourself happy, unhappy, I'm sorry, at the end every single time, then just let it go. You know, once he start keying up your car, busting <laughs> your tires, Deal it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, what? Calling you out in front of a dinner table of people. You just gotta call it quits. You know? I feel like that's just stuff that's unacceptable. Mm -hmm. Ladies, it's unacceptable. Men, it's unacceptable. Some people think men don't go through the same thing, and they do. They do. So, if that woman is embarrassing you in front of people, talking about you crazy, it, it's unacceptable. Meanwhile, you holding her down, the household down, doing everything, you know, you're supposed to be doing. It's not right. So, trust me, there's a woman who will appreciate that out there. You just haven't found her yet. So, keep looking. I also have a side note. So, you know, something I always thought about was that when people have not experienced anything good in a relationship... If you bring something good to them, they think that's as best as it gets, no matter what bad you do. Right. Say, you know, for example, I get with a guy, you know, and I never had anybody help me with my financial situation or take their time to, to help me learn about my credit or getting, a, getting myself in a car that I never had, you know, or anything that can elevate any area in my life but when we get home he talks to me crazy I feel like there shouldn't be a cost on love loyalty and respect you know you you definitely shouldn't deal with things like that no matter what good a person may be bringing to your life if they're bringing something bad to your circle then you need to let them go in that case too you know you can't sit up here and be like well you know, this person, they helped me move out of my parents' house. So, I'm going to take him talking to me crazy as long as I got to. You don't right. have to do it. You do or you do hear it. the, well, I got a kid with him. Mm -hmm. Or her. Or we have two kids. <laughs> but you know you should have never had those two kids with that person. Like, you should have been left. So, it's no excuse. Like, 
all you doing is bringing or keeping kids in a bad situation it's where they're better off you know where you're the best of yourself the best version of you and that other person is the best version of them and if that's separate then so be it but the ultimate goal is to you know have the best outcome for your kids mm -hmm. yes and it's always you know when when you're so trapped inside of your a world of your own it's hard to lose sight that there's not just you know that man who wants you or that woman who wants you you know what i'm saying you you can't lose sight of how how big the world is the world's huge there's a lot of people in it there's somebody out there for everybody and i'm sure y'all heard that before it's the truth you know yeah speaking of toxic situations um should there ever be <laughs> should there ever be off-limit conversations um in a relationship definitely not like and if somebody tells you that they lying you need to run away from them because if you're even if you're i feel like if you're in a committed relationship you know you're with this person now i get that there are touchy subjects where you probably have to kind of ease that person into the topic because maybe they're sensitive about it you know so that's just something to keep in mind when you're discussing it but it should never be that i can't talk to you about anything like this is your partner in mm -hmm. life if you're looking to marry that person or you are married to them like you should be able to discuss any and everything with them like period yeah because i know that there's some people who are literally just like i think the problem with having off-limit conversations in a relationship is the fact that people don't know how to agree to disagree like right. a lot of people aren't okay with somebody not agreeing with them and when you're that type of person you want to avoid those conversations at all costs because you know that or you feel like your view on or your take on it is not being heard or understood you know even when you're in a relationship a lot of people get this mistaken that your other half is going to understand you all the time or agree with you all the time and i just but feel like not. that's not the case everyone's a human just because you found your match doesn't right. mean you you match all the way in mindset and right thoughts you know it's it's trust me you wouldn't want to date another one of yourself mm -hmm. be real with you <laughs> sorry some of you guys are I doing that and i don't know how you're doing that okay i wouldn't i couldn't I don't date know another how me. you're doing it. i could not date another me i couldn't date another That's one of myself it, okay. is. it is it definitely would be a situation because sometimes you need someone to be so different that they balance you out right does that make sense opposites attracting yeah literally what's that physics <laughs> right physics. we learned this you know what i'm saying we learned this in high school middle school all that opposites definitely attract i i do feel like you know if you are with a person and they're not everything that you want them to be or that you expect them to be in that moment does not mean that you guys will not make a good couple or a good match most good matches that I've that I've seen, speaking, you know, for myself, were ones who never even thought that this would happen. You know, like I never thought that I would learn to love this person or like this person the way that I do mm -hmm. until I got to know them. So, you know, definitely keep your options open. You know, keep an open mind. I'm learning that this year in 2022 mm -hmm. to keep an open mind you know not to keep my options open you know what i'm saying I don't, option option part is closed in the relationship <laughs> realm for me <laughs> but i definitely learned to to be more open-minded about things because the type of person i am is i have my heart and mind set that one thing is one way and then i'm just gonna roll with it you know what about you t What's and I just, but I also feel like as far as like having off limit conversations with your partner, you have to question like, 
if I can't talk to this person, are they for me? Like, is this person mm-hmm. ultimately for me? Like, are you equally yoked? Like, you know, because like this is not just a friend that you call every now and again like you sleep with this person you go home and likely lay down every night with this person so yeah how can you be okay with that are you settling you should ask yourself that you know that is good (laughs) have you tried it It, it's giving like strawberry ice cream Mm. I'm getting strawberry ice cream from this. Like, Stella Rosa, y'all, if y'all had to name this mm. anything besides rosé, like, if y'all was doing some type of, like, flavor, realness, strawberry ice cream for that one. Right. It's I'm giving, getting like, non-intoxicated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting I could drive home safe. Right. <laughs> well, you guys... As I promised in the beginning of the episode, the food's gone. Hmm. Okay. I'm so. still working on my plate, y'all. <laughs> I'm taking it nice and easy. Nice and easy. Just like how you did when you made this meal because it is delicious, T, <laughs> as you. usual. I want you guys to put down in the comments, too, like, what do you feel? Do you agree that topics should be off limits or not? If this is your soulmate or this person that you're committed to and why or why not let us know how you feel about it also if you guys have any topics that you want us to go over any questions you want us to ask put that in the comments down below right now we're gonna wrap it up i'm full at this moment this is good i'm gonna get nice and detoxicated (laughs) Add a little vodka or something, to, you know, something that really spike it. Might add some <laughs> some rose to this rose. Right. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you. We love you. It's over and we out. Peace. Bye. Bye.